Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I have normally done. I love this YouTube theme because I'm just way out of my comfort zone most of the time and I love it. But I just finished doing a Harry Potter uh, get ready with me which is why I'm wearing the dramatic blue makeup. <laughs> And I got an email saying that Sephora is extending the 20% off sale to VIB and Rogue members. So I have actually already, I shopped last weekend because I'm VIB, I'm not Rogue, I'm not there yet. But I did shop last weekend and I got most of what I wanted. And what's crazy is that, what's crazy is that I haven't even gotten everything that I ordered in the mail. So I got some stuff in the store and then I ordered some stuff online and we're having a huge snowstorm right now, so things are definitely delayed and behind, but um, I'm expecting something in the mail that I got from Sephora today. So I wanted to just show you guys what I've gotten so far and how relieved I was when I got the email because I was regretting not getting a couple of things that I kind of wanted but was undecided on and then decided at the last minute that I wanted it and the last minute happened to be the day after the sale ended. So during these sales, I try to focus on things that I know that I'm gonna use and use up. And then one or two items that I have had my eye on for a while that I just decided to take the plunge and buy. Um, let's just jump right into the video. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. Here's my bag right here. Um, I didn't get this from Sephora. I actually bought this the weekend Sephora was having their event for a Rogue. I got this from QVC and it was just a better deal than what I would have gotten um, through Sephora, but with 20% off, you might wanna look into getting this. This is the Josie Moran Argan Sugar Bomb Body Scrub. This is some good stuff. This was the super size container, and I got it from QVC, and I think I paid like $40 or something for it. I'm not sure what I paid, but I know that this size is exclusive to QVC and, um, but they do sell this at Sephora, it's just not in this size. And at 20% off, I would definitely, definitely pick this up. We are already into some really, really cold and obnoxious and dry weather. And this transforms my body. This is some really, really good stuff. I would not get through the winter time without this particular body scrub, so. I've tried other things from her line, and honestly, I am not, impressed with some of the stuff. Uh, the argan oil, it's just regular argan oil. I get that from The Ordinary and it's the same stuff basically. And the argan milk, I don't know you guys. I, I just didn't see a purpose for that. It was okay, but I just didn't see the purpose of having argan oil and argan milk. And this product that I'm going to recommend also that I got, this is the Josie Moran whipped argan oil face butter you guys this is so so good this is just the best moisturizer for me to use during the winter and during the cold fall months now i'm actually thinking about getting another one of these because i didn't think that i would have to start using it this soon but i actually used this last night and or my previous container which is almost empty I don't think this is gonna last me through the winter so I just might pick up another one of these from Sephora today or tomorrow when the sale starts I did get this from QVC as well because they were having a huge Josie Moran um, weekend they weren't gonna be having another special on her products again this year so I don't know when it's coming back just to be, I'd rather be on the safe side and I'll just get this from Sephora another one for 20% off because this is Argan oil is so amazing on the face and when I pair it with my argan oil from The Ordinary, it just really transforms my face. I just love this stuff. I went ahead and got this uh, lactic acid treatment from Sunday Riley. It's called Good Jeans. I know you guys have heard of it. Um, yeah, I tried to resist Sunday Riley. But this stuff, this is great for my skin. I see instant results when I use this. I do swap out with the Ordinary Lactic Acid, and that one is good too, but nothing like this one. This one is just the greatest of all time. Um, no other lactic acid has done for my face what this one does instantly. I see instant results, and you really want to see that when you're dealing with skincare. This is the Kiehl's Vitamin C Serum. 
Um, I use this almost every day. This is just the greatest stuff in the world. It completely takes away every single line I have on my face. I don't prime my face often before makeup because I never see a difference. But when I put this stuff on, it blurs my skin. It plumps it up, it smooths it out, and it blurs it. I feel like this stuff does what primers are supposed to do. But I do wear this almost daily, vitamin C, and it boosts the strength of your uh, sunscreen. I did not pick this up during the sale last week. I'm halfway done. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick up another bottle. I got two bottles of Olaplex. These, this has changed my hair. I'm going to do a video on this soon, but this has changed my hair and I don't want to be without it again. So I bought two bottles of this, hopefully, and I use about one a month. Another item that I got, I got this Stena lip paint in unbuttoned. So I couldn't decide if I wanted unveiled, uncuffed, or unbuttoned, and I ended up getting unbuttoned, and I'm regretting not getting the other two. I do have uncensored. I did have a bit of an issue with this formula, but I actually learned how to make this work for me, so I'm no longer scared of it. Uh, the other two, it's just really hard to find. Um, you know, those kind of colors that really, really look good on any type of skin, especially dark skin. So I might go back and pick those other two up. I, I haven't decided. I don't know. I have a couple of days to think about it, but I've already gotten this one and haven't even opened it yet. And I'm thinking about getting the other two. The Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is um, for a superstar youth glow. It's like a primer and kind of a highlighter type of primer. I haven't seen many black girls wearing this and I was just intrigued by it because um, one of the YouTubers I follow, Michelle Wang, did a review on this and she, she looked great. She I love a nice dewy glowy uh, foundation base and so I just thought this would work well for me. I'm not really a primer person but I do like to glow and to be dewy so um, I'm gonna give this a shot and I'm gonna do a review on this as well and this is in shade number six. This is Tatcha the Pearl. This is another um, kind of primer. It's an under light and eye treatment and it's just supposed to brighten your under eye. You're supposed to use just a little bit, brighten the under eye and um, kind of hide all of the fine lines and things like that. And then the concealer goes on top or you can wear it alone. I haven't tried it yet. I got it in the shade Candlelight, which I think is the darkest shade. I tried it on in the store and I actually did see a difference even though I was already wearing a full face my concealer had kind of started to fade a little bit in the corners so i just wiped it off and i tried this and i did like it um honestly i would have gotten a sample before just buying this but it was the weekend and i knew that if i didn't buy it i would have to pay full price for it if i really liked it later on so i'm just gonna splurge this is my splurge i'm gonna i'm gonna use it and see how i like it Something to note as well as I know that Tatcha is having a 20% off sale and free shipping on their website if you don't want to go through Sephora or if you're only getting like a 15% off discount through the, I think that's regular, um, Insider is 15% off and you still want to save some more coin, you can definitely order this and any other Tatcha products through their website. And the same goes for Kiehl's. I actually got an email from Kiehl's saying that they were having some kind of um, available online and in store, $20 off a $65 purchase. The code for that is FESTIVE. I'll leave that uh, link below. And that ends on 1126. So if you don't wanna do Sephora, again, and you wanna buy Kiehl's, you can definitely just use that code and get I, I'm not really sure how much this is. I think this is about $80. So I actually might just go and get this from Kiehl's because I think that that would be a better deal than 20% off from Sephora. So um, I have one more item that hasn't gotten here yet. I got the Armani Luminous Silk. I think that's what it's called. I got the Armani um, Foundation for the winter. I have... <clears throat> I have a sample of it that I've been using that I love. I've been testing out um, cold weather foundations. You guys, 
I'm so freaking happy that I did those testing, the testing of the foundations in October because it's snowing outside and it's November and I definitely need to switch up my foundation routine. The Ordinary and Fenty, which were my two um, favorite foundations, are just not going to work for the winter. So yeah, I got the Armani and it's supposed to be delivered here today. So now just really quickly, I'm going to jump into things that I might want to get, but I'm not really sure that I'm going to get. So I think that I might get another Born This Way concealer. It's just really hard to tell how much you have left. <laughs> and I just don't like buying stuff for the sake of buying it. And um, this is actually a pretty good size, but I use this almost every time I do my makeup. So I just don't want to buy something and then something else comes out and I'm like, oh man, I want to try that. But I don't know. I just want to stick with this. So I might just pick up another one of these. This is my shade, my concealer shade, and this is Warm Sand. This is the Luna Oil. I'm just going to be honest with you. I was not impressed. And I'm almost finished with this. I have maybe two more applications, and then I'm done. The thing is... The Luna Oil works so well with good jeans, lactic acid. But just the retinol oil on its own, I'm just not really impressed with it. I used the Ordinary um, Retinol in, or Retinoid in Squalane. And that really, for me, it does the exact same thing as the Luna Oil. But the Luna Oil works a little better <laughs> with good jeans. So I'm kind of on the fence. How much better does it work? I mean, this Ordinary is serviceable with good jeans, but just these two, these two together, it's like a killer combo. And so what I'm thinking about doing is getting the Power Couple. It's right here. And this is good jeans and luna it's like a combo pack i think this was uh, 85 dollars so it's 20 dollars off that way i get another bottle of good jeans and i also have the sunday riley um luna oil to get me through the winter months which is definitely when i'll need it the most and then i have the ordinary to kind of supplement that as well because i don't use the lactic acid uh, every night <laughs> i haven't decided but i'm on the fence I haven't seen any palettes that <clears throat> I'm really all that interested in owning. I'm, I got my Pat McGrath palette, which by the way, that's this one right here. If you can snag that, definitely get that for 20% off. I got this from her website actually, and I got it for 10% off. But from what I understand, Sephora has been uh, cock blocking <laughs> when it comes to Pat McGrath. They're out of stock. So I don't know if you can still get those palettes, but if, if you can, definitely I would pick up my Mothership Bronze Seduction palette five, I think, Mothership five. And speaking of Pat McGrath, uh, that's kind of one of the things I want to get. I'm thinking about maybe getting one or two of her lipsticks. Haven't decided yet. I don't even know if they'll be in stock. Um, I did run out of this Clinique Pep Start. This is their um, Pout Restoring Night Mask for the lips. Uh, this is the best nighttime lip balm I have ever used. It really does restore my lips at night and my lips really, really suffer in cold weather. And this definitely helps. So I'm gonna order another one of these. This was like $18. So it's it's not too, too terrible and it lasts a few months because the last time I got this was in April I think that's when they had their last sale and it lasted me I just finished this up in September I was going to try the Hourglass Veil um, setting powder I think that's what it's called I'm probably getting the names wrong and I'm definitely gonna have uh, the, the names and the, of the products up somewhere around here I really wanted to get that but Patrick Starr just announced that he's you know he's coming out with another collection and they're going to re-release the Patrick Star powder which I've heard amazing things about so I have to in the next couple of days decide if I want to wait for Patrick's powder or if I want to try the hourglass um yeah I think that that's it you guys 
happy shopping. <laughs> this is really um, costly. It's that they are just slamming you with so much stuff during the holiday season. It's a mess, but. All right, you guys, so happy shopping. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I am going to report back with what I bought. I am gonna do a haul of all of the things that I've collected from all of the stores that I've shopped at, so stay tuned for that video. And I'm also going to do um, some reviews on the Tatcha Pearl and the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace out. Happy shopping. Don't spend too much money. Don't spend too much money on what you don't need. But happy shopping. <laughs>